Hi guys, so there's no Let's Develop episode this week. Um, just I've only just gone out and shot the HR50 um, Let's Shoot um, video there. Um, so I have to wait until Christmas, unfortunately, before I can actually develop that film because Hannah is <laughs> Hannah has the chemicals that I need for it, but she's making me wait until Christmas to open them. So, um, but today I thought I would talk to you a bit more about my cameras. Okay, so the first camera I'll show you is actually the first one that I ever really started to shoot with. Um, it is the Practica TL3. Um, I got this from West Yorkshire Cameras um, for only, gosh, it was only around £30. Um, though this um, Helios 44-2 lens that I have on it now, I got off eBay. Um, the original lens that came with this actually was a Miranda 1.8 lens um, and that was included with the £30. So this camera actually, um, it was my first and it's still my favourite camera um, actually. Ooh. And yeah, as you can tell it is quite hefty. Um, it has a built-in light meter as well um, and it goes up to I think 1600 ISO. Um, and the max shutter speed is one thousandth of a second. Um, and yeah, just a really, really good all round camera. Um, it has a split prism focusing screen, um, which I actually prefer. Um, all the other ones, it's just uh, ground glass. And it came actually with this really nice leather cover as well, which I just put a strap on. And there's my... Um, analog Wonderland badge. Now the second camera I'm going to show you here is the Zenit E. Now this camera was my father-in-law's father's camera, my so my wife's grandfather's camera from Baghdad in Iraq. And um, he had this up in the my well my father-in-law had this up in the attic. Um, for ages and I didn't even know about it but he brought it down for me and it was in fantastic condition like really fantastic so it, this is all the original leather and um, it has also the leather um, cover that covers the whole camera and um, now I have a, a Pentax Super Takumar um, 1.8 on here at the minute um, but or sorry not 1.8 it's a 3.8 Five, yeah, three point five and um, thirty five millimeter lens, and um, but the lens that came with this was a really cool, um, like a pancake fifty mil, uh, Industar, lens, um, which actually when I shot this, um, and um, for the first time I was using this lens, it's really fun to to use, um, and look look just look at the size of it compared to. To this um, but yeah and um, it was as I was saying it was in really good condition there is uh, there's a selenium cell light meter on it but that, that's not very reliable um, and you have to actually look up here to see if your exposure is correct and um, the only issue was with it was that I think around 1 60th and 1 30th of a second the the shutter curtain was dragging, so it was quite easy to to fix. Um, I'm going to show you quickly here. Um, I'll leave a link. I'll I'll try and see if I can find the link to what I used to follow. So all I had to do was take this bottom plate off, and there was one, uh, I think two, um, one particular screw that you just have to tighten to put more tension back into the shutter curtain. Um, and I just tighten that up and it works great. Um, now, unlike the Practica, the max shutter speed on this is one five hundredth of a second. Um, so um, it's better in lower light situations, I suppose. Um, but yeah, another great camera and again, really hefty. This is even heavier than the Practica. 
Alright, um, the last M35 um, mil that I'm going to show you is uh, my Minolta SR1, um, which I, well, which my really, my wife is just, my wife Hannah is just really lucky. Any kind of competition she enters, she always seems to win. So this was um, a competition prize that was put up by PPP um, Camera Repairs. Uh, over in England, another um, great uh, camera repair shop, um, and it came with this um, MD zoom lens as well, um, and it's just it's a uh, it's macro as well, um, and it just is amazing. It's got a titanium finish to it. Um, it um, same as the Zenit E, only goes up to um, five hundredth of a second. Um, but it's and again it's a, another fully mechanical camera um, but actually another feature that I hadn't shown you on the Zenit E that this camera does as well is that you don't have to um, push this the whole way to move it on and um, to cock the shutter you can half crank it or even as many cranks as you want until it's there same as the Zenit E the Practica, on the other hand, doesn't do that. You have to just push it on the whole way. Um, and it also comes with a timer, the same actually as the Zenit E. I'll put example shots that I took with each of these cameras. Now, my last um, analog camera is my is a 120 it is my Lubatel 166 universal and um, with this uh, this i got from ebay for i think it was only 22 pounds and it's a, a tlr so it's a twin lens reflex so let me see you can probably see me there yeah <laughs> so with this camera you look through <clears throat> your viewfinders through the top lens and this bottom lens is the lens that actually takes the picture um, now this is a like it's very cheap like um, but some some people would consider it a, a, a toy camera but it, it still has a glass like it's much better than a toy camera it still actually has a glass lens it's not like um, some of the other um, remote cameras where it's a plastic lens but um I, what i i've only used this once but i was very impressed with the actual quality of the images that i got out of this and um, i was using portrait 400 um, and i'll show some of them now so that's um all the cameras that i have um at the moment guys um and my lenses now <laughs> I don't plan on getting any more soon, but um, they're just so they're like they're so interesting in all the different aspects of the cameras. Um, but yeah, so this little one's awake now, so uh, we'll have to let these go here, and we'll see you on another episode, guys. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, let me know um, if there's any of the cameras that you'd like to know a little bit more detail on. Um, or if there's any other cameras that you might recommend as well. So um, take care guys and see you again soon.